Somebody's gotta say it and apparently it's gonna be me. You aren't seeing equal representation of the autism spectrum on social media. If you can use your native language fluently, learn a variety of social rules, keep yourself safe without adult supervision, but occasionally punch yourself in the head when things go wrong, you might have the just a little different type of autism. But if you can't express yourself reliably, struggle to understand a variety of language concepts, and occasionally bite the nearest person when you have a headache, you might have the disorder type of autism. Those of us perceived as just a little different are featured in movies, documentaries, and theatrical productions, but those of us perceived as disordered are only featured in medical journals, therapeutic conferences, and case studies. The correct term, the term we need to be talking about a lot more, is profound autism, which is defined by exhibiting minimal communication, having an IQ less than 50, and requiring 24-hour supervision. And I know what you're thinking, but it's just a small portion of the autism spectrum. But it's not. According to the CDC, 26% of autistic people fit the criteria for profound autism. By definition, most profoundly autistic people aren't using social media in the traditional sense. Just because you don't see people like them as much as you do people like me doesn't mean that they aren't real or aren't important, because they are. Please keep the most vulnerable of our community in mind as we continue to advocate for autism acceptance and awareness.